Contrary to what the prosperity gospel teaches, wealth is not usually a blessing. It's a curse, almost always. Hear my words carefully. Wealth possessed in the bank and in the portfolio is usually a curse. Usually a curse. Almost always a curse, not a blessing. Contrary to what the prosperity teachers are trying to say and thus bringing a curse upon millions. Jesus said it so plainly. It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich person to enter the kingdom of God. Brothers and sisters, a camel can't go through the eye of a needle. He's calling attention to the massive dangers of wealth, accumulated wealth. Wealth is mortal danger. It does not make you, me, generous. Wealth makes nobody generous. It makes you buy more stuff. That's what it does. And it numbs your conscience in the process because you have to constantly tell yourself, it really is in sync with the Calvary Road. It really is in sync with the Calvary Road. It really is in sync with the Calvary Road. And the more you preach that to yourself, the number and number and number your conscience becomes until you can do things you never thought you would do. Even lie. Listen, this is a word from God through Paul in 1 Timothy 6. Those who desire to be rich fall into temptation into a snare, into many senseless and harmful desires that plunge people into ruin and destruction. For the love of money is the root of all kinds of evils. It is through this craving that some have wandered away from the faith and pierced themselves with many pangs. And if you're alert, they pierce thousands of others with them. Those who desire to be rich are suicidal. We're, the reason we're not in 1,568 unengaged people groups is not that we don't have enough money. It's that we have too much. And it's all stored up for ourselves. And it's killing us. Not the church. Of course we got bills to pay. It's not the issue. It's spiritual issues. It's killing us. It's killing our hearts. It's killing our consciences. It's killing our kids.